host of athletes wearing the red, white, and blue as we look at the rules of the game. If you're cruising around the dial, you're on ESPN Plus and you've come across water polo for the first time, some things you should know. It's a lot like a lot of sports you already like. Four eight-minute quarters, 30-second shot clock. Keep in mind, it's an all-deep pool. They can't touch the bottom. Three exclusion fouls. That is a heavier foul than you fouled out of the game. So we'll keep a close eye on exclusion fouls and, of course, keep a close eye on the power play numbers. As we said at the top, these two teams know each other quite well. That's an understatement in Stockton. Both teams have dominant centers, so who's going to be able to establish the outside game and the inside game? They go outside first. Jewel Romer lighting it up. The junior connects, and our first goal goes to the Cardinal. And I think they read my mind. I was going to say SC <laughs> needed to do that instead of put the ball into Tilly, but there you go. We'll see. And on the replay, Aria Fisher, right side of your screen, she's drawing the attention of one and then two players. The centers are so talented, it's going to open up shots from the outside. USC mm -hmm. will have the first six on five try here, looking to level this game early. Such a great move out of the water to kind of show the officials and then that power turn. And it works like a charm to Haney. The lefty comes through on the skip. The power play goal is there, and the Trojans have an answer. We're even at one. And I think. So Haney's going to be a key for them. If you you know watched the semifinal yesterday, they're lefty for USC. UCLA got a couple on on Avatar, so look out for her. You're exactly right. And the linebacker then Malia Allen, both lefties, they came up with four goals combined in the semifinal yesterday. They're right at the marker. On this end, look at the dish. Fisher moving inside. Cross pass. Neutral wide open. Stanford in front, 2-1. The pass, and if you notice something Stanford does really well is really push out that counterattack. It's a long pass by Avatar to a great dish from Fisher to Neuschel. This was three of their big guns working in concert. Romer, Fisher, Neuschel, back of the net. It's a 2-1 lead for Stanford. Ryan posting up as Weinbelt drives through. We talk about the players that can do multiple. There you go. Weinbelt peels off the defense and scores almost the identical goal that Neutral delivered earlier. And Stanford off to a good start here, up 3-1. And it's like what you mentioned earlier, right? Different versatile players. Neutral's not your typical center, but she's in there because she can do it. And then the great passing. Celeste Weinbelt, not the biggest scorer on the Stanford team. Just her ninth goal on the year. But a big hit here in the first quarter. In the 19 cap, out high. Here's Romer, now Woodhead. He'll give her the shot. Good look, Weinbelt again. Again gets to that side of the cage, and Celeste Weinbelt has two. One for four already. And these are the things I know Stanford wants to be physical. There it is. One time, hush child to Kearns. The power play connect, and only a matter of time before Tilly Kearns got in the mix. That was a great pass to a great di redirect to Tilly Kearns. And SC is driving, Stanford's trying to be physical, so that's how they're ending all those ejections. So Stanford's gonna have to make that adjustment or else they're gonna be playing a lot of five men. Tilly Kearns. Momentum swings, right? So like here there's a momentum swing, so how are you gonna then get it to go back your way? And another big momentum swing there. Hoschild breaks inside, has a good look, but Avatar has made some huge stops. And from a save to a six on five, Good look at the stop here from my Avatar. Trying to go cross cage, she was ready. Six on five. Stanford still with the edge. Romer, save made by Stern. And then an exclusion on the attack. Wallace comes back to try and force a takeaway from Julia Yanov. And everything clicking here for the Trojans. It is, they have to really capture this moment now, right? They're waving off these momentums. Both teams are playing physical. The refs are not gonna let it go. So now it's who's going to settle down and finally make this almost two-goal turnaround happen. Vandaway O'Shea has returned. Well, both lefties are in. That's dangerous on that side of the pool. Hushchild makes a count. Page delivers. Romer, she's pressed out. Long entry in. It comes to Fisher. Steps through. Stern with the stuff. So okay. big, big key save by Stern. Hush child, we're tied. Her second. You know, and then sometimes it's just taking that moment, right? You don't need the perfect pass. You just need to 
You see an opening and you go for it. And she has that killer instinct and you see it there. She just sees an opening and she nails it. Here's the ruling there that got her free. And now the Trojans looking to answer. On the hand, a penalty. Again, USC pushing the tempo. Hofstrad finds Kearns. This time when she makes the turn, she draws the five meter and an opportunity for USC to take the lead. Opening moments of the third, looking for her third. Save, Avatar, ranging right. We talk about those big moments and who's gonna rise to them. That's a great save by Avatar. There have been a host of fantastic penalty shot blocks this weekend here. On this set now, Osnar gets inside water. She lost the handle. Weber scoops it up. Spin move, she's stuffed. What a save from Avatar. Cardinal on the advantage. Tahaney swimming off. Stanford breaks through on the six on five, and Nusha gives a fist bump. They've been knocking on that door for a while. They pull back in front by one. And, and it was movement, right? If you notice, the ejection earned was out here on the perimeter. Emma, what Ella would have had is they're moving, it's tight defense, and then Ryan, she finally gets a touch on the ball. She's like, I'm gonna shoot this because I may not get it again. <laughs> Nushal had the last one. It's Romer. Good look. Good result. Joel Romer. Stanford up two. Both lefties are in page. Let's try oh, In front, Giro. That was a good, simple, quick attack by USC. You want to go to your post. You have Paige out top, so that was a great read by USC. Way to kind of kill the momentum that Stanford had been building. Osnar to gear all. Fisher cruises inside. Would look across the way. A few fakes, and it's Sophie Wallace's turn to deliver. You know, for a team that doesn't have a lefty in there, that was a great attack. You had Mushal setting up her teammate, and that's what six on five should be all about, is you catching your shooter, maybe one fake, because your teammate has done a great job setting you up. And one fake is all it took. Watch that fake, it gets Kearns off kilter, and she's falling under the water. That opens a window for Wallace to hit. Wallace into the suit there on Osnar. Osnar moving in low, skip Avatar, another block. They're having a tough time putting it past Maya Avatar. Great steal. That and now it's away. a two-on-one, maybe the other way. If they look, and they've got it. Nushal, Fisher filling a lane. Nushal out in front. Ryan Nushal moving in, has Fisher, takes it herself. And that's a moment that you rise, right? It's hard, Do you, does she see Arya behind you? Maybe, but you know what? She had that inside water, she's gonna finish. Her third goal. Stanford back in front by three. They rebuild the 4-1 edge. Now it's a five for their ninth title in program history. And moving in, here's a problem. Tip out, big save from Stern. Turning away that try from Lexi Rowell who came in. Hey, that's the goalie keeping them here. Killing that momentum for Stanford from that third quarter. Good, great save. All one. that attention and creating opportunities. Where's the angle for the Trojans? Osnar lets it go. Little sidearm, drops it down, puts it up for 90. And the power play is there for USC. That was a great setup by Paige. That was a great interjection by Tilly. So that's what SC is going to have to do to get back into this game is utilize all their assets to set up that fourth big player to make those big goals. It'll be interesting. I believe that might be Hochschild's second ejection. So do they... Oh, uh, no look! Romer on the inside, slam it home. Stanford. And that's Christina Hicks in the 14 cap. How about this pass? John Tanner says Drew Romer has the vision of an owl. 360 degrees. She that wasn't looking at Hicks, but she found her. I mean, double stack there. Interesting formation by Stanford. Neutral fake. One coming back. Romer inside. Sophie Wallace slams it in. And Stanford takes their largest lead of the day. They go in front 10 6. The passing, right? If we go back to Romer, you talk about the vision that JT says she has. That was a great feed. Someone's got to shoot it. Tilly will. Yellow card to 
Marco Pinterich sharing his thoughts with the officials, but Tilly Kearns gets a much needed power play goal for USC. I think there was, I would say a little overpassing, but it worked out for them. Tilly was ready. She, She's ready, right? She's ready for that moment. She just wants the ball. And when you're a center, it's sometimes hard to get the ball because rightfully so, everyone's trying to keep the ball from you. Against Stanford, another power play here. Can USC make something happen? Osnar moving in, unguarded. Lefty takes a look and hits. Two goal game just that quick. The power play is good to go for USC. Legs takes a look. Timer to nine. Inside, stuffed home! Weber answers. One goal game, 111 left. The conference player of the year. They've held her in check all night long. Goal number 71 comes when they needed it most. And the patience and the discipline by Durrell on that. Fake, fake, fake. They knew, they gave it to her, and like you said, you know, big moments are for these players like Daly Weber that's had a great year. Weber, double team arrives. Stanford has to be a bit of the aggressor here. Good pass over the top, they hit it! Ella Woodhead! The patience, the trust that you have to have in your teammates. Um, not someone that I don't think is scoring very many goals for Stanford goes on the drive because she's disciplined and then that great pass to a great catch and shoot. They'll go back to Avatar. Five seconds left. And for the first time since 2014, 2015, the Cardinal will repeat as NCAA champions. championship for the Cardinal. A big embrace for the Stanford staff as the fireworks fly here in Stockton. What a battle like we knew it would be for these two great teams. 